Do you remember days when you'd get home from school and the first thing you'd want to do is hop in a call with some friends, get on a game, just vibe, enjoy your time? See, I think we all know those times. And we're in today's world where change is scary. We are looking at things in a manner of, oh, we miss the old days. Oh, we miss the old times. See, here's what I have to say about that. Yes, change is scary. Change is terrifying. I mean, especially in the gaming world, we have had to witness, I mean, our biggest communities, Call of Duty, Minecraft, right? We've had to witness these communities kind of slowly, slowly go down. And I mean, Minecraft, for example, a historical game, why don't you have fun playing it anymore in days? Because when you play it nowadays, you just don't feel the same. You don't feel the same passion, emotion. You build a house, you uh, go fight the Ender Dragon, you come back and then you move and then you stay in the same house and you don't do anything. Play for a few days, you get bored. Same thing with Call of Duty. Play the same game mode. Just play the same, same game. And... It just doesn't feel the same. See, now part of that, with saying that, may do with you getting older. Yes, getting older 100% is a big key factor to that. But at the same time, I think it also tells us that something I have to experience, and I want to know if any of you have had to go through this, but we are in a world where when we see things change, we just keep telling ourselves, it's not the same. It's not going to be good. And we just kind of go after these games and downsize it before it even gets released or downsize for giving it a chance. And it sucks that that's the way that we see the gaming world now. And I think the gaming community has truly accepted that that's how it is. And these companies are really trying to change to help us get the game that we want, but we just don't accept the change. And I think this is something that goes into a deeper issue for another day. But short version of it is, when we see things change, we automatically think you're doing it for money. You're doing it because you don't want to help us in our best interests. Or we're doing it because, you know, we don't really care about what you guys want. And I feel like that's the mindset we think. But here's what I'll say to that. Something, you know, something from someone who's been in the gaming industry since I was really probably four or five years old, starting off on old Dell, uh, you know, Minesweeper, right? If anyone even remembers that, uh, playing Minesweeper. And I just remember thinking, why is this game so fun? But then I thought about it, it's because I don't expect a lot from it. I just expect to get on a game and play it. And I feel like in life, we don't see life that way we see life as oh it needs to go this way it needs to happen at this time this person needs to get in my life and i need to meet this person at this moment but it isn't life's not like that gaming's not like that and i think you can it's crazy but you can look at how we treat the gaming world as how we treat life when we get older you know i'm 23 just about to turn 24 this month and I don't see gaming the same. I do it less. I play less. And it's not because I don't like gaming. It's just because how it is. It's the way that we see gaming. But again, I'm trying to change that. And I want to say that, yes, it's not going to be what you used to do it as. It's not going to be the same game that you used to play years ago. But know this. Change isn't always bad. Change is kind of fun. You get something new out of it. You get to experience different challenges. You get to experience meeting new people. You get to make really good connections. And when you don't take that chance, you don't get to experience any of that. So if there's one thing that I could have you take away from this is that just know, yes, we all start at the old dirt house that we build in Minecraft that's a four by four. But know that when you finally start expanding, 
get past that dirt block house, you get past that first level in a game, you start seeing things new. You start exploring. You start seeing things that you didn't even know existed. And I'm going to use a good example here, but like, look at Minecraft. When you first get on Minecraft nowadays, you just see a world, the map, that's it. Did you know that there's so many different caves, there's so many different aspects, there's so many different mods, filters, packs, it's endless. But again, it's something new. It's a new change, keyword here. And it's something that we don't think about because we're so focused on what did we all used to know. But what I want everyone to do here today that's watching this video, take two things away. Number one, embrace change. Embrace the differences that it brings. Embrace the challenges that it brings. That goes for gaming, that goes for life. Number two, don't be afraid to get older. Don't be afraid to experience the new things. And also communicate with the people around you. Communicate with the people you still play with. Communicate with the new people you, you play with. And just have fun, smile, try to try to make the people around you better. Try to make the people around you smile. Try to make the people around you want to just have the time of their life. Because think about it as this, when you got home from school, what did you only want to do? You wanted to hop in a Skype call, nowadays Discord call, and just play games. There's nothing new. It's the same concept. You get home, hop in a call, play some games. And that's the foundation that we still have. We just need to build off of it. Embrace change, embrace the power with it, and embrace the challenges with it. Have fun gaming, guys. Peace and love.